Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just stopped alongside the road here and uh, these horses have come to see if there's any food to be gotten. Yeah, it's okay. This one looking a bit on the wet side. They, people often feed them along the road here. This is the road on the way from Pont Lotton to Tredega. These just run wild along uh, on common land here, I think. The horse wants to try and chomp my hand. No, I haven't got any food for you. <laughs> There's nothing to eat there. Sorry guys, I didn't bring any food with. So, yep, that's my plan today, is to do a video about all the uh, stuff that gets dumped along this road, all the littering. You don't notice it so much when you're in the car because you're sitting low down, but when you're walking or on the bicycle you notice it more. Uh, that's why I'm going to take a walk along here today. And what my plan is also, if I see any of those vape things or any batteries like you see laying here in the mud, I'm going to pick them up and put them in my recycling at the local supermarket. Uh, they normally have a bin to collect the old batteries. So, yep, yeah, just looking, uh, there's pillows being dumped here, cans, all sorts of rubbish. And this is away from the actual road. We're about 10 meters or so from the road. A piece of old firework here. There's all sorts that just gets dumped here. Bits of timber, you name it. So we're going to just take a walk along this road now. And you'll see what I mean about the amount of littering. It's terrible. It is simply disgusting. And, you know, people always expect the council to clean up after them. It's just laziness. People just dumping stuff. The vape. That's the first one I've seen now today. But, you know, it all ends up like in the ditch, so you don't notice it so much when you're in the car. And it's like this on both sides of the road. Got the old webbies or gum boots on today, so that the shoes don't get muddy. Don't matter if these get muddy, they're my gardening boots. So yeah, bits of all sorts of things here: rubber, plastic, polystyrene, bottles, cans. And it just gets worse. I noticed it because I come past here a lot on my bicycle. Just a bag full of polystyrene by the looks of it. So yeah, there's water running through this as well. I even noticed yesterday when I come past here, um, oil containers being dumped in the water. And that's all going into your drinking water. You know, this all ends up somewhere in a reservoir and it all has to be cleaned up for people to drink and to use in their homes. And look at this lot here. See more vapes. I uh, see um, what I'll maybe do today is to pick up as many of those as I can. Another one there. This is the same section of road that I picked up the vapes on in another video I did. It really spoils the landscape. People don't seem to care about things like that. They just dump things. Not the way I was brought up. I was always taught to put things in the bin. And like I say, a majority of this stuff can be recycled. Simple enough just to put it in the recycling bin. 
gets collected every week. At least you've done your bit then. You know, what happens to it after that, well, that's beyond my control, but I do what I can with regards recycling. It just goes on and on like this. But this is what prompted me to do the video. And I, you know, I keep coming past this lot and uh, it's kind of upsetting really. Another vape there, just on the ground there. I need to find out if there's a place where you can just take those for recycling. There, oil oil container with slugs attached underneath I mean if you look in this drainage ditch and this is all getting into the water all this all your plastics and everything else As you can tell it's quite a busy road so a lot of traffic up and down here all the time so hence stuff just gets dumped here constantly Take a walk back now, see how many bakes I can pick up. There's the black sheep of the family as well. I've just discovered that's where the black sheep of the family hangs out on this mountain. Now they're all running away, they've realized no food. That one's seen I've got a bag, that was following me just now. So, this is where the water ends up washing down from the road up there. And you'll see just now there's loads of bottles and stuff there. This water looks like a reddish sort of colour. Like, well, not the water, but the rocks underneath. So God knows what's being pumped into that further upstream. But it doesn't look clear, even when you see by that many waterfall there. It doesn't look clear. So we'll take a walk up towards the road now and... Uh, You'll see what I mean in a minute. The stuff all gets washed down, of course. Eventually it all ends up clogging up things. So we're walking back towards the road now. This is how it's looking up here, where all the stuff's been washed up here. So, back home again. These are all the um, vapes and batteries and things that I picked up. Even a kid's toy there, which has got a battery in it. So I'm going to be recycling those batteries. I shall be keeping them in my shed, that's what I did with the other ones. Because if these lithium batteries short out, they can start a fire. Be warned about that. If you do pick up these things, they can be dangerous. So that pretty much concludes my video uh, about the littering, etc. It's a pity to see the countryside being ruined like that. Um, you know, people just don't think about these things. They just throw things out their car windows. They don't seem to care. People seem to enjoy the countryside when it's full of litter, by the looks of things. But it could be just um, a few people spoiling it for the rest of us. 
Um, I just hate seeing litter. It looks terrible and it's not good for the environment. So anyway, that's it from me for now. And until the next video, hope that you all stay safe and well and maybe litter-free to a certain extent. Bye-bye for now.